Hello and welcome to yet a very quick tutorial and what we're going to learn today is how to create very realistic looking carpets. Now um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to tell Blender to use any image and generate uh, hair particles to take on the color the color um, info from the image and then use that to create the hairs to mimic um, a patterned uh, carpet so you can use that in your interiors or whatever uh, designs or uh, Agvis designs that you are doing out there now to begin with what you want to do is you want to tell blender to actually import an image and then use it as the plane uh, the basis to be able to generate the um the carpet and a quick way to do that is um a, a plugin that we're going to use or an add-on called the um, import image planes and to do that is we're going to use control comma and i've already had it set up so to do that you just come to add-ons you type in image and you have import export import image as planes so to begin with um, I have created a, a pattern design. Whatever designs you have, you can use internet images or you can create your own designs. And normally, you want to go, you know, original and it's nice having your own designs and used for this um, tutorial. So, um, to do the so, we come to add image, image as planes. And we have a quick image that I've generated, just a, a star and we're going to turn this to zero so it lies on the plane and with f we zoom into it now to uh, start creating every plane that you create normally has only uh, four sides to it but to generate the carpet realistically we need to add in more vertices to this image and the way to do that is to be able to um, add it or subdivide it within blender so to do that we can go to object edit mode and we have all the vertices selected and at the top here we can select by vertices select by edges and select by faces so um, i think with vertices we are good to go and we hit right click and subdivide now i'm going to turn the number of cuts to 200 the higher the better but you also have to take into consideration your machine if your machine is not able to handle uh, too many vertices uh, you could slow down your process your design process pretty significantly but i think 200 is okay for us and yeah so this would be the basis to generate our hair particles from so um, back to object mode we hit four or you come up to the top here and select object mode with a shortcut key four so now the way we begin is um we're gonna um, bring out the particles properties and we will hit um, new now we have the emitter as the default that's always selected we will turn it over to hairs now what is done is created the hair um, particle limiter and we've been given some properties to play around with so that's what we're going to do now first thing we're going to do is we need to shorten it up 400 centimeters not possible so we're going to take this to about um, one centimeter and the number of hair particles this also like the cuts will determine how much would show so um 4000 is just way too small so we're gonna a thousand actually is way too small so we're gonna actually boost it up to a very high number so the higher the better so we're gonna take this to 50,000 okay but we can go further well, let's switch it over to 100,000 yeah, it's coming up but i can still see the texture underneath but i also have to be mindful of you know processing power but let's say 
um, 200,000. That's very high, but I think it's going to, yeah, it's pushing it up a bit, pretty high. So what we do have here is still you can make out the image, but it's actually using the pattern to create the hair particles. So um, the way you do, you check that is through render and render as part of the material. So it's going to use the mat whatever material you used to generate the hair particles. So you can use this to create very nice patterns, your own designs actually, and then come up with very nice um, layouts. So uh, the carpet looks a bit, uh, if you take a closer look, all the hairs are pointing straight, 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 and that is very unreal. Now, to create some bit of randomness to this, we have to um, apply uh, some uh, dynamics to it, and we can bring it up by clicking on advanced. So, advanced, we have physics, and when under physics, on the forces, we have Brownian. Now, um, I'm going to intentionally hit a very high number. So you're going to see how it's going to look like. So let's try one and see. So what it does is, oh, this is terrible. So we're going to try with 0 0.1. That's way too high. Now, you see, it begins to give you um, variety what is basically doing is applying forces to direction of the hair particles and we can reduce this once again to 0 0.01 now um, now you see this is for very thick um, carpets but I think we can come down again 0 0.001 and see okay so um, now, if you take a closer look, it's slightly each one is moving in different directions. But we can increase this again to zero point zero four. You get closer to it. Now you can actually now tell they are all in various um, in various directions. So you can play around with the brown end effects. And if your processor can handle the, or your machine can handle the, the rendering and uh, the calculations, you can actually go higher and then basically use to create a much more realistic um, carpet. So um, now I'm gonna set up a quick uh, um, render, uh, render, set up so that we can get some lights in here and then you know, just try a quick uh, render out there so to do that we're going to uh, share the editor and come to world let me pull this one up and view um, frame all to add frame it all in image we're going to add in an environment now to do that we hit tab so if you want to um, quickly add a node hit tab and then you can type in environment texture. So I'm going to apply an HDR, um, an HDR to our setup, render HDRs. Okay, so let's just try to reinforce concrete and bring this one in here. And now if we come over to um, I'll render it. I'm actually going to have this carpet stuff, but I don't need that background. So we come straight to um, our render properties film transparent. So this will help us um, uh, take out the image, but it's going to use the light information to light up the objects that we have here. Adding ambient occlusion, or beam, subsurface capturing, screen space. And we're going to add refractions so we can set this up to quickly, and we can also do so for um, we can also do so for 
cycles. So this is EV setup. Let's try cycles also and see what it will also look like. So using the GPU to compute yeah, adaptive sampling. So let's give it some while. Let's give it a while to actually um, render this out. Or we can turn on denoising viewport automatic. Adaptive sampling. So just to now uh, we've really pushed our machine to really um, get this results in. So uh, in a, in a later video, I'm going to show you um, my machine that I'm using currently, and I plan to really upgrade this machine to really be able to push, um, uh, be able to do more uh, in terms of. Um, handle graphics applications you know computer graphics you really need very powerful computers to really push it through so uh, um, let me zoom out a bit and so you can have an actual feel so um, let's wait for it to just do a quick um, render setup of the lights and everything and so you get an actual feel so this is just a quick tutorial and I think the reason why I wanted to do so is <clears throat> be able to come up with your own pattern designs and use it for uh, carpets, uh, carpet designs, and then be able to. So instead of just using flat, uh, what's it called? Flat textures applied on a box and then, you know, you, you represent it over there. That's just way too basic. You can come up with this uh, setup and then use for your um, your designs so i hope you enjoyed this video um i'll be bringing you more interior design uh, setups if you want to be doing uh, mostly interior designs using 3d i'll be coming up with more design and we'll be generally going to other areas of uh, graphics and technology stuff so if you like uh, our quick tutorial you can subscribe and like and hit the share button and like this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.